Oops, I forgot to turn that off. Good almost Saturday morning here on the East Coast. Uh, you folks in the West Coast, good Friday evening to you. Hope you're having a great evening. Uh, you know, this could have waited until tomorrow, but this is huge, huge, huge breaking news uh, that I wanted to, uh, to get on the air with. Uh, several of you may have been watching... Uh, well, before I get into that, get, everybody hit the smash, uh, smash button or smash the like button and get this thing shared out. Let's get as many people watching as we can. Uh, again, really exciting stuff coming out. Some of you may have been watching uh, Josh's stream earlier on Ham Radio Crash Course. So some of you may already know this, but ICOM is revealing a brand new HF rig at Ham Fair right now in Tokyo, Japan. Really, really exciting radio. So uh, it is the ICOM IC7300 Mark II. I'll repeat that again. The ICOM IC7300 Mark II. Now, I currently have a 7300. It's sitting right over here. And I love my 7300. So this is very, very intriguing to me. This radio is going to be a game changer, folks. I mean a game changer. Uh, so we'll get into some of the details on the website here in just a minute. Uh, some of the notes I took from uh, Josh's stream, and I appreciate Ray Novak going on Josh's stream to do this. Uh, here is here's some of the, the what I picked up from it. It is the same exact size, as far as desk space, is the same exact si size as the Legacy 7300. It is the same user interface, at least you know the menu settings and all that look, look generally the same. Uh, new features being unveiled. Hope y'all are sitting down for these. These new v new features are going to just knock your socks off. Really, really cool stuff. This is a radio that is capable of CW decode right there on the screen. You can decode CW right there on the screen. It's incredible. It has a USB-C port. That's a game changer. Do we have any other radios that run USB-C? At least HF, I can't think of any. Uh, let me know in the con let me know in the chat if if you do know of any, but uh, I don't know of any that run USB C. So that's a game changer. Here's the next thing for you Yasu fans that love your big screen. You might want to come over to ICOM. They are introducing an HDMI port on this radio. HDMI, yes, you heard me right. HDMI. This is an upgrade. This is. A big change from what Yesu does with their, um, it's not display port. I can't remember the name of the port that they use. Uh, this will be H HDMI. So you'll be able to put your display on a big screen like that. No chasing down cables or anything like that. It'll just work. It's phenomenal. Here's what else this radio has. Two SMA connections. Yeah. Two SMA connections. DVI, thank you, Frequency. Uh, Frequency jumps in there and says DVI. They, you're, you're exactly right. I couldn't think of it. And like I said, it's heading for midnight here on the East Coast. So uh, uh, you probably, <laughs> I can't think of some of the terms every once in a while. Uh, here's another game changer. This radio is going to have a Cat5 port on it. And that will enable LAN capabilities with this radio. AF and IF. It has the RSBA software server built in. It's already built in. And this will also, you'll be able to operate the radio with your iPad. Really cool stuff. A couple of improvements that have been made. Uh, this radio uh, has a better receive on it. I will be curious to see how it ranks on the Sherwood scores. But uh, Ray is saying that the receiver has been improved by 12 dBs. 
Uh, so that's a pretty good number. That's a pretty good number. I'll be curious to see how this ranks on the Sherwood, uh, Sherwood rankings. Um, and then uh, the other big improvement is the cooling on it. This radio runs cooler in receive mode because it only runs 7 milliamps in receive mode. Whereas with the 7300, it runs nearly a full amp. With the 7300 Mark II, it's only running 7 milliamps in receive mode. So unlike my 7300, that's all the time spinning up the speaker, or sp spinning up the... Um, spinning up the uh, fan on the back. Um, this thing will stay cool a lot longer. Uh, let's hit the, hit the chat here, grab some things here. Dave's in the house. Nope, you're not the only one awake because I'm sitting here. Uh, Ken says it looks great. Uh, free, we already went over frequencies, DBI. Rodney, good to see you uh, in here this morning, Rodney. I'm going to go ahead and say morning. It's, it's, it's 1159 here. Watched HRCC and Ray's live feed. And I may have to shift from looking at Yesu to the 7300 Mark II. ICOM really stepped up its game with this. I'm looking at a new shack radio at the end of the year. And I got to tell, tell you, Rodney, I'm kind of thinking that too. You know, I might save up a few bucks and upgrade this 7300. Uh, you never know. You never know. I might do it. Um, the, the, some of these features are very, very important. The one thing I miss about my AC radios is being able to have that big screen. Uh, Pepe's in the house. Good morning, Pepe. Good to see you. I'm now in your daytime. So, uh, it's now Saturday for me. So, uh, good to see you, Pepe. Frequency's asking any word on release date. Uh, I did not hear that on Josh's stream. However, let's, uh, let's, let's go through the website here. Now, uh, you may notice this phone number's a little wonky well the reason it is is because this is icom uk so this is the united kingdom website but i'll see if i can zoom in here a little bit i don't know if it's going to let me or not eh, hang on bear with me yeah yeah we can zoom in so here's a picture of the radio right what is this right here that's your cw decoder look how cool that is y'all that is just cool. CW decode. You can see a paddle here right next to it, and then you've got uh, the big screen in behind it. This is a game changer, folks. When it comes to uh, when it comes to the uh, the HF world, it's, this is especially if the price point's good. If the price point's good, yeah, yeah, this is going to be great. Um, let's see here. Enhanced performance and better signal at the core of the IC7300 Mark II's improvements are significant upgrades to the, its receiver and transmitter. Uh, the RMDR now or has now improved approximately 105 dB at the 2 kHz separation. Um, while the transmit phase noise characteristics, characteristics have improved by about 12 dB at 1 kHz frequency separation. These enhancements mean cleaner, quieter signal on both receive and transmit, allowing you to hear weak signals more clearly and ensure your transmitted signals are free of unwanted noise. Uh, the new model also features lower heat generation and power consumption. Through caref uh, careful component selection and DC power optimization, the IC7300 Mark II can maintain stable op uh, operation for longer periods of time. Perfect for contesting operation or extended use. Its power consumption during RX standby is uh, reduced to 0.7 amps, down for 0.9 amps in the previous model. So that's a significant improvement, y'all. Uh, new features for the involved uh, experience. HDMI port for external display. RX antenna connectors. I believe that might be what your SMAs are for. I'm not sure. Built-in CW decoder. Simplified remote control for RSBA1. USB-C with dual com audio. Uh, 70 megahertz band. And that's for UK. Uh, not not for us. European version. Pepe, that's you. Uh, 70, uh, 70 megahertz is going to be included in this. So... There you go. And there's a uh, video here uh, that I will share with you all if you want to watch it. 
uh, that'll it's directly from ICOM. Let me uh, let me switch back here to the stream. Where's my stream? I got too many tabs open, y'all. Uh, here, here's your video. Uh, if you want to watch it, but stay with me. Don't don't go watch that video just yet. But uh, the video is in the chat. Hope y'all are having fun with that that ham that new Ham Shack TV logo. It's not staying forever, but it's there. Um, and uh, let's see. Let's go back. What else do we have to say? Here's the image bank of it. Wow, there's a lot of images here. Uh, front standard. Okay. So that's the front of it. Looks just like a regular 7300, right? No, I'd, I'm just comparing it to what mine looks like. My 7300. This is identical as far as the front goes. Let's go back a page and look at the back of it. Here you go. Here's your power. Here's your regular uh, uh, SO239. Here's your SMA connectors. Here's your ALC and SEND. Uh, like if you got an amplifier or something like that, that's what that's for. Your keyer input. You got a remote. Uh, this is your external speaker. You've got an accessory port. Here's your USB-C. Here's your um, uh, HDMI. And here's your CAP5 port. Now this up here, most all radios have them, but if you don't know what it does, that is for an external tuner, if you have an external tuner. So uh, there you go, y'all. This That's what this thing looks like. It is going to be a game changer when it comes to amateur radio. Um, and especially in HF. Now, I'm not seeing, just looking here, I'm not seeing anything about a release date yet. Uh, keep in mind, this is at Japan. I don't know if they're just promoting it or if they have actually um, released it in Japan yet. But um, it's coming. It's coming. And if you watch the YouTuber symposium video, the YouTuber forum video, you heard, you heard Josh and Ray kind of tease this a little bit. So we know it's coming. I would imagine, and I'm just speculating here, you know, I'm just speculating. Y'all let me know in the chat what you think. I'm speculating that we will see this radio either by, um, Either by Hamcation or Hamvention. I'd say more likely Hamvention, but it could go Hamcation. It, it definitely could go Hamcation. Um, <clears throat> Pepe says, uh, why the name IC7300? Was it a reference to the old 7300 instead of the 7610? This is not anywhere close to the 7610. Uh, 7610 has far many more features than, than uh, 7300 does. Uh, this gets a little closer to it, but it's, yeah, it's more closely related to the 7300 than it is the 7610. Ken is speculating end of year. I, I don't know. I, it could be that could they get this out for Christmas? Maybe. Uh, I don't know though. Um, they don't get in no hurry to release radios. You know what I mean? But. This could, this could come out by Christmas. I could see that. Uh, they want to kick in, uh, get the, get the Christmas sales uh, kicked in and that kind of thing. I could definitely see that. Um, I'm not convinced of it, but it, it is, it is entirely possible. Uh, I think the more likely thing is we'll see this released either by Orlando in February or, um, hand -benching. I don't think it'll be a full year. I like, I don't think we're going to be waiting until Huntsville. And I shoot, I don't think, I just, the only reason that I could see ICOM holding on to this thing until Huntsville is because the Huntsville Ham Fest next year is the AWRL National Convention. It's the only reason, but I don't think it's very likely. I think they want to go ahead and make their sales. Rodney says, XYL permission to build a dedicated shack in the backyard. So planning hardware and layouts. Plan on this thing. 
I'm surprised nobody's jumped in here and asked me about price yet. Uh, I don't know. I don't have the foggiest idea. There's no information out there about what this thing will be priced at. I would spec speculate it'll probably probably be somewhere between fifteen hundred to and twenty five hundred. Um, that's just speculating. Now it could be cheaper, it could be more. You know, the set regular seventy three hundred runs about well eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars. So uh, it, it it'll probably be upper upper ones to low twos. I'm guessing. So anyway, uh, that's about it. I just wanted to jump on here and share this with you. I'm not going to stay here long term tonight. Um, you know, it's been a long day, long week. Uh, I do want to do something real quick, though. Uh, give me just a minute. I need to update something real fast. Boom, boom. Okay. Back to StreamYard. Um... I definitely want to, I, I'm, I need to get in a better habit of this, but I'm, uh, uh, I need to start showing you all a graphic uh, before every video ends, um, about, uh, channel members and we have several channel members and I want to thank all of these guys. Let me pull down the banner so you can see a little bit better. Uh, technician tier, bear one Rogers, ham radio 2.0. Thank you, Jason Pepe. You're watching. Appreciate you being here. Wisconsin ham. Ham Radio Crusader, appreciate Freddie Mac, uh, Jason, KO4DDG, Cell Studios, and GP Mac 7 our radio winner from last uh, from last night. Uh, appreciate all their channel memberships. In the general class tier, Poder Power, uh, Willard Locks, Lenny Janoff, Stephen Foot, N8RWG, Rick Green, Digital Matrix IO, BDD, The Grouch in New Hampshire, uh, Greg Williams, Frequency Frontiers, KB5, UTY Dave, uh, John, appreciate him. Appreciate Tortoise Overland, uh, Rabbit Ham, Mike Morley, KI4 MRC, uh, Gary Graham, Brant, KQ4YHR, and Corey, N1XWS. Appreciate all those guys. And then finally, we appreciate Jason Lockwood up in the radioactive tier. Uh, these guys are what makes this, uh, makes this, uh, uh, radio continue transmitting. Uh, those guys are the power supply for this channel. So we appreciate that. And if you are interested in becoming a channel member, channel memberships are down below. Uh, you'll get your name added and recognized uh, quite frequently. So we appreciate those guys. I'm going to hang it up for the night, guys. I just wanted to jump on here and share this with you. Uh, very, very cool stuff coming out of uh, Tokyo tonight. And uh, who knows? We may have some... Uh, we may have some more news come out from Tokyo. You never know. I haven't heard of anything speculated yet, but we'll keep an eye out. Guys, go check out Ham Radio Crash Course, uh, and uh, maybe he'll have some more updates too, but stick right here at Ham Shack TV. Appreciate you watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. 73s, AA4WX, WSCB 693.